So I was trying to book the package on her link at the time, but for whatever reason, it wasn't going through. So cool, I got a hold of her and she told me to, I, I could send it through Cash App. So I cashed after her $2,500 never asked me for my passport or what was my full name or anything the only thing she asked me um, was which state I was coming from I told her I was in Atlanta all right so the first mistake was sending the money through cash app and from what I can understand from cash app right it's like sending an e-transfer right once you send it that's it this is what a uh, cash app says on their site actually it says uh since cash app cannot guarantee a refund if you don't receive what you pay for, it's safer to send money over Cash App once you meet the, per the buyer in person and receive whatever has been promised to you. Always verify those you send money to, to and pay them after you receive what you pay. So basically, <laughs> sending money through Cash App, there's no buyer protection. I know PayPal has buyer protection. I've bought stuff through PayPal and got a refund in, in the past, but for the most part, FYI, whenever you are buying a product or service, you are protected most heavily, right? When you are paying through a credit card. The credit card will, you can definitely do a, like a chargeback dispute. You can call your bank, yeah, listen uh, about this thing and I didn't get the service. I think like 90% of the time when you call your bank with regards to a credit card dispute, they have an incentive to look on your behalf because it's their money that, you know, you are essentially lending, right? But if it's just a direct deposit or directly from your checking account, it's your money that you are losing right away, right? So they aren't as, have, they don't have as much of a vested interest in ensuring you get your money back. So buyer beware, pay for stuff, pay for services with your credit card based on what I can see, right? Uh, Mary Jane's uh, booking service essentially, right? They don't really have a reputable history or a track record of having successful and enjoyable trips. So it makes sense, especially if there's no, you know, positive reviews on social media, independent reviews, right? Then it makes sense to buy stuff with a credit card. I just had to wake up and see like the reality of my life. Like, I, yes, I want to live on my dreams. Yes, I want to, you know, see other parts of the world. But honestly, in that moment, it made so much sense to forget about my rent, forget about my responsibilities and just leave. But honestly, don't get like me. Don't be like me, bro. If you still have rent to pay, if you still have all these responsibilities on your neck, pay for the responsibilities and then go. Because honestly, like, it started catching up to me. Anyway, so I, I started, um, after I watched the video and I thought about it, I was like, wait, this is my rent money. What am I doing? I texted her and I was like, hey, is it okay if I get my refund back? Because I made a dumb mistake and I need my money back to pay my rent. And so that's when um, she was, she didn't respond for like- Okay, so I seen the message. It looked like she paid through Zelle. Another thing, again, <laughs> Zelle, Cash App, e-transfer. If you're just paying money without any backing of a credit card, even for Zelle, right? Even for Zelle, it says, if your recipient has already has already enrolled with Zelle, the money is sent directly to your recipient's bank account and cannot be canceled. Zelle, Cash App, I'm not sure any, any of the others that are out there. Maybe Vimeo too, probably. <laughs> But for the most part, double check if your uh, money pro provider actually has payment protection. Otherwise, stick to PayPal, stick to credit cards, and you can be a bit more at ease. Done out here, it's on a nightly basis. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here, because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous.